Hey you all, I hope your day is going great. In this part you will learn how to add the functionality for adding new expenses. Open the projectdetail.html file, which is where we are going to start out for building our model, which we are then going to use to, of course, add the new expenses. So there's going to be a pop-up. Simply scroll down the page. And we can enter a new div with the ID of expense model. And then give it the class of model as well. And inside of that we want to have another div with the class of model content. And now we want to have an h4 that simply says add expense. And in here we can now put our form that has a method of post. And spit out the CSRF token. And now we can start listing all of our inputs and labels. So first of all start with the input with the ID of title. And you want to give it the name of title as well. And then we want to have a label which is for title. And this is simply going to say title as well. And then we can copy both of them and change that to amount. And now for the category we want to have a select with the name of category. Don't need an ID for this one. And in here we want to have a list of options that display all of the options which the user specified when creating the project, of course the categories. So for category in category underscore list and end for, we want to spit out an option, don't need a value for this one, that simply says category dot name. And at the end of the form we want to have a button with the type of submit and the class of btn, so that's how you do it in Emmet. And this is going to say add. And now that we have the marker for our model we can now open a script tag to initialize all of the components. And we want to set var alum equal to document dot query selector dot model. And this is straight out of the documentation for materialize. So var instance will be m dot model dot init alum. And we can copy them again and paste them in again and change that to select. And this should be changed to form select. And now we of course want to trigger the model as soon as we hit the add expense button. So just go up the page and search for this button and give it the class of model trigger. And the href should be equal to expense model, which is the ID of our model itself. And for us to be able to already call the M object inside of the script tag, we need to actually go back to the base.html and grab the script and put it up at the top. Although I normally wouldn't do that because your page gets slower, but for now that's the easiest approach. I'm now in the browser and let's see what happens if we click on add expense. You see that we get a nice model pop up where we can enter in the title and amount. And then there's this select, which of course doesn't have anything because we still haven't passed the list of all of the categories. So let's do that right now. And we want to go inside of the viewstore.py file and set the category underscore list equal to category dot objects dot filter project is equal to project. Should be simple enough. We want to get all of the categories which have been added to this particular project that we are calling. And then we want to pass them as category underscore list. Let's see how that works. And yeah, you see that it's working. And next up we want to take care of submitting the model and adding a new expense to the database. And what we want to do first of all is differentiate between the two methods. If request.method is equal to get, we want to get the category list and return the render. And if request.method is equal to post. 
we of course want to process the form but for now we will simply want to pass and if we have made it to this point we want to return an HTTP response redirect to project underscore slug which was passed in by the view create a file called forms.py and in here is going to be a very simple form so first of all from Django import forms and then we can create a new class and give it the name of expense form and the subclass from forms.form and the fields we had were title which is going to be a forms.char field then we also had the amount which is a forms.integer field and then the category is going to be a forms.char field as well so go back to the views and we can now set the form equal to expense form request.post so we're simply populating the expense form with the post request and if the form dot is valid then we want to set the title equal to form dot cleans data of title then we also want to do the same with the amount so I'm just simply going to copy that And also do the same with the category and for this one I'm going to choose the name of category underscore name now we want to go grab the actual category with the get object or 404 function where the project is equal to this one and the name is equal to category underscore name because we need the category object in order to add the new expense as you can remember inside of the class expense we had this category foreign key so that's what we're currently trying to get based on the name and all we have to do now is expense.objects.create and we set the project equal to project the title equal to title the amount to amount and the category to category and then hit dot save otherwise it won't save to the database and we also have to import the expense model and remove the pass so this should work now and let's see if it does just reload and add expense title web design click add name expense form is not defined of course it isn't because we have to input it so from dot forms import expense form just hit control r and you see it being added and we can do the same with another one so let's say this one is marketing 101 with the amount of 5000 and yeah it works nicely so that's it for this part, I hope you guys enjoyed, make sure to leave a like and a comment down below if you enjoyed and don't forget to subscribe and until next time, cheers!